Hey guys, Chef Tovia here, and today we're going to be making stuffed waffles using the wonderful waffle iron. I'm so excited, I reached out to the owner of this company and asked him if he would send me one of his waffle irons because I love waffles, and I mean who doesn't? So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the wonderful sausage stuffed waffles. It's almost like pancake sausage on a stick. You guys ever had that for breakfast, you know, especially during school time? It's just like eating one of those, except it is in the form of a stuffed waffle. So guys, I'm gonna be showing you this uh, waffle iron. I'm gonna have a giveaway. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and just be in tune with my videos so you won't miss this giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away two of these. So we're gonna begin with today's demo and you'll be able to find all the ingredients you need for the recipe in the description box under this video. So I have my all-purpose flour here in the bowl. So to my all-purpose flour, I'm going to add the sugar, baking powder, and we're just going to whisk all that together. My bowl might be a little bit too small, but I'm going to add my buttermilk. And then this is melted salted butter. If you're using unsalted butter, just add a quarter teaspoon of salt to the flour. So, give it a stir. And then I'm going to add my eggs. Vanilla extract. Not vanilla flavoring, not any of the artificial stuff going on here. And then finally, I'm going to add to this a cup of club soda. Club soda is going to make the waffles very really light and crispy. That way you don't have to fuss around and whip up any egg whites. So I'm going to add my club soda. And I'm going to whisk everything just until it's combined. I'm not going to worry about it if it's too lumpy or not. So, give everything a mix. I'm preheating my wonderful waffle irons. Uh -oh, I'm making a mess. So after lightly whisking everything together so use my rubber spatula just to kind of give everything a fold now the batter is not going to be very smooth that's okay because we don't want to overwork the batter so let's move over to the next step so here is our wonderful waffle iron it comes with uh, several pieces it comes with um, sleeves for the handles of the pans to keep your um, hands protected from the heat. It comes with the bottle waffle iron as well as the top waffle iron here which I'm preheating on my back stove and then this middle component which is called the scissors which makes it easier to lift your waffles out. So we're going to begin by preheating both the top and the bottom with the scissors in place and um, this is the bottom you can tell by the little loop here. So um, I'm going to spray the inside of my waffle iron really good. Give it a good spray. Then after giving it a spray, I'm working on um, medium high heat here. So after giving it a spray, I'm going to feel just enough of the batter to come up to the lower notch of the scissors here. I'm not going to worry about giving the pan a tilt or anything. So I have some sausage here. You can use whatever type of filling you want. But I'm going to just show you guys this demonstration with sausage. I've been testing many other recipes so I have others to come. So I just have some sausage. And then I'm going to just cover with a little bit of more of the batter here. Now don't worry about getting it filled perfectly because this waffle iron is 
pretty forgiving. If you overfill it, you know, a little bit, it's okay. It's not going to spew out all over the place. So, as I said, I have my top here, which has been preheating on my back stove. I'm going to spray the inside of this really good. Then I'm going to just attach the top. I spray a little bit too much spray in there, but that's okay. I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to give this a flip. And I'm going to let this go for three minutes on about medium high heat. And as you see, this does work on induction, on induction cooktop as well. So this is really great for those who have an induction cooker. Um, it works well on gas and as well as electric. Um, the key is to really preheat both of the waffle irons really good because that will create that sear that we need to make them release from the waffle iron later. So I'm going to let this go for three minutes as I said and then we're going to give it a flip. Okay, so um, I just want to show you guys the size of the, of the pan here lifted up a bit as it the waffle is cooked. So this is a good indication. This is a good, good thing. So it's been three minutes. I'm going to give this a flip. Now keep in mind this is cast iron so it is going to be a bit heavy. So here's the moment of truth. We're going to open it and see what it looks like. <laughs> wow. This is cool. Really cool. Looks good so far. Feels light but crisp at the same time. So I'm going to um, let this go for another three minutes. I'm going to just make the heat a little bit hotter. So I'm going to let this go for another two minutes and then I'm going to give it a flip and let it go for another minute just to let it brown a little bit more. So I'm going to give this a flip now because it's been about two and a half minutes. I'm a little bit worried. It's my first time filming this live. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Beautiful. So I'm going to let this cook for another minute. And then we're going to take it out of the waffle iron so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, I'm so excited to cut this bad boy open. So it's been about another minute. I'm going to go ahead and give it another flip and then we're going to remove it from the waffle iron so I'm just going to take the top portion off so I can set that back on my stove to keep it preheating as I'm doing the rest of my waffles and then I'm going to use my pot holders to lift it out with the scissors as you see here it works this is really really freaking cool guys so let's move that out of the way then just open up the scissors which I don't want to scissors are still kind of hot but guys wow look at that amazing really amazing look at this stuffed waffle oh I can't wait to cut it open guys this thing is amazing it works so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it again and while it cooks I'm gonna let you guys see what it looks like I'm quite pleased with the outcome um, to find out more about the wonderful waffle I check the description box so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it so I know everyone's curious as to what the inside looks like as I am curious as well looks beautiful look at that okay the inside is completely cooked through amazing I, I gotta stop and take a picture of this wow I love this this is amazing guys so guys I'm gonna be having a giveaway of this waffle iron so stay tuned for the next waffle recipe because that's also going to be the giveaway video um shout outs to mike thank you so much because this is amazing um check the description box to learn more about wonderful waffle 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a taste. Oh, this is so cool. Like, you don't have to fuss around with the regular waffle iron anymore. I'm not, I don't like a whole bunch of syrup, so. Here goes. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is really amazing. It's like eating a giant, fluffy, soft pancake that's crispy on the outside. Guys, I love this loaf iron. Absolutely delicious. This is real maple syrup, everybody, not motor oil. <laughs> Alright, everybody, add this video to your playlist, share, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you'd like to see next. Please remember to live and be well. Let's come together and love each other. Thanks so much for watching and supporting.